Hello everyone, welcome back to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be giving you a cardiac rhythm and a scenario. On the bottom of the screen you'll also see a 1 minute and 30 second timer. This timer represents the average amount of time you should be spending on each of these cards during an actual National Registry exam. Once the time is up, I'll give you the answer as well as an explanation to the treatment. Good luck. 3, 2, 1. So with this card, it actually looks like there could be a little bit of crush syndrome going on. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the rhythm here first, and then we'll examine the scenario. So right off the bat, first thing you're going to notice is the complex. It's very, very wide, and I'm not seeing really any sort of semblance of a P wave here, and the morphology here is consistent, and it is nice and regular. The heart rate as well is fairly fast. I count 17, so 170 BPM as, as far as the rate. Because of these characteristics, I would diagnose this rhythm as monomorphic VTAC. Let's go ahead and now look at the scenario. So it looks like we are in the midst of extricating this gentleman who was trapped under this vending machine for hours. Uh, this is exactly why you should never rock those vending machines. That's why there's a sticker on the side. Very heavy and this can happen to you. Super rare, but it can. So anyway, we're extricating this initially uh, awake, alert, and oriented patient from under this vending machine. They've been there for several hours, and we release the pressure, and now all of a sudden he's pulseless. So right away, I'm going to change my diagnosis of the monomorphic VTAC to just a modified one slightly. Now it is pulseless monomorphic VTAC, which will change the treatment significantly. Also noting some deformities here to the lower extremities, but there's no visible open wounds or fractures. So let's go ahead and move on to the treatment. So the CPR cards are the ones where I see students waste the most time because they want to do everything in a linear fashion. But because this is a static card, nothing's really going to change regardless of treatment, so the best thing to do is to chunk your treatment together and give it in cycles, so give it in blocks of treatment. So the first thing, as always, we're going to just go ahead and regurgitate the mantra, scene safe, BSI, IVO2 monitor. At this point, we'll then perform cycles of CPR, 30 compressions in two breaths. We'll defibrillate every two minutes. And with defibrillation, you can say, I'm going to start at 200 and work my way up to 360, or I'm going to stay at 200 the whole time, or I'm gonna start at 360 and stay at 360 whatever your protocol is. But make sure you say defibrillation every two minutes because pulseless VTAC is one of the two rhythms that defibrillation is the definitive treatment. The other one, of course, is VFib. My drug of choice here is going to be epinephrine, one milligram, one to 10,000, given every three to five minutes. I'm gonna give in a dose of amiodarone, 300 milligrams, after that first dose of epi. 
And of course, this is going to be rapid IV push, just like with all drugs uh, when a person is in cardiac arrest. And then I'm going to give a second dose of amiodarone, 150 milligrams after the second dose of epi. I'm going to consider H's and T's. And because this is a crush syndrome, I could consider hydrogen ion acidosis as one of the possible causes of the arrest. And I'm going to administer sodium bicarb, 50 mil equivalents given IV push. Additionally, I'm going to consider hanging IV fluids because one of the treatments, really the gold standard treatment for crush syndrome is hydration. So I'm going to consider hanging IV fluids as well. And that's it. If you like this video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and check out the other static cardiology videos I have there. Feel free and make your own playlist so you can practice each static cardiology card and get yourself better and better until you're ready to take the National Registry exam. Until I see you next time, have a good rest of your night.